welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at practicing drawing condensation and hydrolysis reactions for proteins. When you're looking at condensation and hydrolysis reactions for proteins, it's important to be familiar with the functional groups in amino acids. Here we can see three amino acids joining together to make a polypeptide. We take the hydroxyl group from the carboxyl side of one amino acid and one of the hydrogens from the amino group of another amino acid, and we take them away to make water. We then join together the parts that are left. Make sure that you leave everything else exactly as it is in the original amino acids. When you're looking at hydrolysis, you first need to identify where the amide groups are. You need to cut between the C double bond O and the NH. You then need to look at water and you cut that into OH and H. You then join these parts back on to make the original amino acids with their carboxyl and amino group. Pause the video now and try to draw the product of condensation for each of these. Pause the video now and draw the amino acids produced during hydrolysis. Pause the video now and write out the dipeptides that are produced during partial hydrolysis of this pentapeptide. When you're drawing out the dipeptides, you need to make sure that the amino acids are already joined together in the pentapeptide. This means that there are only certain pairs that can be produced. In this case, AB, BC, CD and DE. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!